Hi everyone, welcome to SMP TV and I'm Kelly. I'll be your host for today and I want to talk about coronavirus. So the coronavirus has brought hard times for everyone and the COVID-19 is very stressful because we have no control over it. And plus it's spreading very rapidly. However, there are still things that we can do to protect ourselves and our loved ones and also to take appropriate precautions. So here are the basic things that you can do to prevent the spreading of COVID-19. Firstly, don't forget to wash your hands with soap and running water when you come back home. Secondly, don't forget to cover your mouth when you're sneezing outside or coughing. Thirdly, make sure you don't touch your face with unwashed hands. Fourthly, make sure you avoid contact with anyone who has a fever or a cough or has difficulty in breathing. Fifth, make sure you wear a mask when you're going to a medical institution or anywhere outside. And lastly, avoid going to places where there are many people. So if you have symptoms such as fever, cough or difficulty breathing, number one, make sure you don't go to school or work or anywhere in public where there are a lot of people. Number two, make sure you get enough rest at home for three days and observe your symptoms. Number three, make sure not to use public transportation and use your own private car when you're going to the medical institution. Number four, make sure you let your medical staff know if you have traveled abroad or been in touch with anyone who has symptoms. Number five, if your fever temperature stays 38 degrees or it increases, make sure you first of all call the local health center and visit the screening center to get medical treatment. So if you live in an area where COVID-19 has spread, avoid visiting any other areas and make sure you follow instructions of your local health authority. Most importantly, make sure you wear your face mask wherever you go. I know it must be very uncomfortable and inconvenient to wear them, but simply wearing just a mask could reduce the chance of getting the virus significantly. There was a case where four men in their 60s rode a same car and unfortunately one of them actually had the COVID-19. So the other three who shared the same ride had to get tested for COVID-19 because they were close contacts. Surprisingly, all their results came back negative and this was only possible because all four of them were wearing the mask properly. So the Central Disasters and Safety Countermeasures Headquarters informed everyone about the situation and made sure that everyone was wearing the mask properly to protect ourselves and our loved ones. In addition, according to the American Dental Association, wearing masks reduces the chance of getting the virus significantly. So even if a person gets in contact with an infected person, if both parties are wearing the mask properly, the chances of getting infected reduces to 1.5%. However, if they both don't wear masks, the chances of getting infected increases to 90%. So this is a power face mask, and I hope I explained enough to make sure you understand the importance of them. So make sure you wear your face mask. And now I'm going to explain the different types of face masks available in Korea. So here I have the SMP KF AD mask. And KF AD actually means Korea Filter Anti Droplet. So it blocks the fine water droplets and has a blocking rate of 55 to 80%. It's been approved by the liquid resistance test, meaning that it can prevent the spread of diseases by blocking respiratory droplets. So the KF80 mask blocks the infection more effectively than the dental mask and is more lighter and breathable than the quasi drug masks, and therefore making it more suitable for the summertime. So KF94 masks and KF80 masks are both designed to protect you from infections and yellow dust particles. They are both designed so that the nose bridges stop your glasses from fogging up and they are designed for the optimal fit. They also don't stick to your face, so it makes it more hygienic. So another thing I'd like to mention is the adjustable sizes. This one is a little bit special because you can adjust the ear loop sizes and therefore you have better protection. So now here's something you should know. There have been fake versions of the Tojo mask being sold online and this is actually the real one. SMP actually has been getting calls from the customers with complaints and we thought it'd be best if we let you know how to tell the differences and therefore how to buy the real one. And you can see that they are very different. The real one is more simpler and rounder, whereas the fake ones have more patterns on it and it is more angular. So let's open up the mask first so we can compare the nose bridges and also what it looks like on the inside. So 
So let's go ahead and compare the two. The real one feels more bendable and it is strong, but I feel like it'll hold the shape better. Now let's look at the fake ones. It's covered in like a rubbery material and it feels a lot more tougher. So it probably will be harder to shape into the shape of your nose. And now let's have a look at the insides of the mask. So I'm just gonna cut them up down the middle so I can show you the layers. The fake ones feel a lot more softer and thinner. And to be honest, I'm not sure if they'll be resistant to moisture. But the real ones, on the other hand, feel a lot more rougher and stronger. And the outer layer feels more sturdy compared to the fake ones. And as mentioned in the packaging, it feels like it would be very resistant to moisture as well. So if you find any of these fake masks online, please feel free to comment down below or reach out to us through our social media accounts. And make sure you don't wear them as they may not be certified by KFDA. So KF stands for Korean Filter and they are graded KF80, KF94 and KF99 depending on their performance. And they are all approved by Korea Food and Drug Administration. The higher the number is, the higher the blocking rate is. So KF99 and 94 are used for the prevention of epidemics, whereas KF80 is used for the blocking of yellow dust. So KF80 blocks more than 80% of the average fine dust particles in a size of 0.6 micrometers, whereas KF94 blocks more than 94% of the average fine dust particles in a size of 0.4 micrometers. So the inhalation resistance tells you how easily you can breathe with the mask on. So the lower the number is, the easier it is for you to breathe. So another thing you should take into consideration is the leak rate. The KF80 masks have a leak rate of 25% or less, whereas on the other hand, KF94 masks has a leak rate of 11% or less, meaning that the KF94 masks leak less than the KF80 masks. So KF80, 94 and 99 masks all help the prevention of COVID-19. However, in Korea, we recommend the use of KF94 and this is mainly because the KF99 masks are simply just difficult to breathe in. And make sure you don't reuse your mask because they may be contaminated with the COVID-19. Also, these masks have been raising environmental problems. Animals have been found caught in the ear loops and therefore we must make sure to cut them before we throw them away. A little goes a long way. I don't know how much I can emphasize this, but please wear your mask as it is the easiest and the most effective way to prevent you from getting the virus. We're in this together, so stay safe everyone and see you next time. Bye bye!